Hold up. Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdot's Newsstand, and we are seeing so much controversy surrounding Ezra Miller right now. If you guys don't remember last year, there was a weird video where it kind of looked like he was play choking with a fan. And then a few months ago, I did a video on him calling out, I guess, the Klan. It does seem that that situation has been deemed a hate crime, but it only gets worse. We actually saw earlier in March... On March 28th, he him attacking at a karaoke bar in Hawaii and then getting put out on $500 bail only to then attack the couple that actually got him out. He said he was going to bury them and then proceeded to call the wife in the situation a slut. And now they have a restraining order. Not a whole lot in that seems very smart to do. For somebody that is in with Warner Brothers, not only in Fantastic Beast, but as the main character going forward in The Flash. And we will talk about this more on stream on Sunday, what the DCEU can do. I will have on at least just some guy. But now we are seeing the idea that on March 30th, now, this comes from Rolling Stones. I want you to keep that in mind because we actually have two contradictory reports. Rolling Stones is saying that the executives on March 30th held an emergency meeting to discuss Miller's future at the studio and as The Flash. Keep in mind, The Flash is the biggest character they need right now to reboot the DCEU and all of the shenanigans in that movie aside with replacing Henry Cavill in the Batgirl Beyond stuff they need a flash Mm, a flash I said a flash please all you have to do is simply have him come back and bring in Wally but I digress and then we're also seeing IndieWire report that actually that didn't even happen. What Rolling Stone is reporting, their sources are factually incorrect. So whether or not they're hitting pause on any future product, uh, projects that involve Ezra Miller, what I think is the weirdest situation is that immediately after the judge ruling Back in November, when it came to the JD and AH trial, the day the ruling came in, almost immediately after, we got the news that Johnny had been removed from Fantastic Beast 3 and replaced by Mags Mickelson. But now they're waiting and seeing. Like, I don't understand where this kind of you know, double standard comes from. Now, I know that. He hasn't been technically convicted of anything, but neither had Johnny. And that's where I have the biggest issue with this. Are we going to see at the end of the ruling if Johnny wins in Fairfax? By the way, I will be streaming that all next week. So make sure you are here. Are we going to see her lose her job? It seems very, very I I would say with almost certainty, unlikely. So this kind of double standard is emerging. And what we saw from Ezra Miller, what he did is ridiculous. Now, let's not pretend like we haven't seen celebrities go apeshit before. This has been something that is more seen now because of social media and, you know, cameras on phones and all of that. But we've seen people all along attack paparazzi or we saw like Tim Allen. He had his own addiction thing. Same with, oh, Tony Stark. I can't remember his name. But all of these people came back. Robert Downey Jr. All of these people came back from that bad image that they received. So what is the underlying issue right now with Ezra? And I think a lot of it has to do with him needing some serious help. 
maybe some time away from the spotlight. Something is not okay right now upstairs. This very much so sounds to me like addiction. This sounds like somebody trying to get a fix. Now, I'm not here to diagnose anyone. I am not Ezra Miller's doctor. I am simply giving you my opinion. It sounds to me like somebody basically lashing out at the need for a fix, whether it's because they don't have enough money, which would be mind boggling after him being in the Justice League or what. I cannot shake the feeling that that's what it sounds like. Again, I could be wrong, but why do you attack and try to steal stuff from the person that just got you out of jail? He literally stole stuff from them to what? He got the wallet. What was in the wallet? Track the credit cards. There are ways around this thing. And honestly, somebody close to him needs to get him some help. But as far as the DCEU, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but we need a new flash. This is not what should be maybe in the DCEU. There's enough problems already, right? We had the Zack Snyder crap. Um, We had basically the removal of a good Superman for Sasha Cali. Now I haven't seen her on screen. I'm more than willing to give her a chance but I do think right now is a great time to have an inspirational Superman story. And I think they're really missing out on that market and making a mistake by not having the redemption for somebody a lot of people like as Superman. It's a mistake. I'm sorry. It is. I have no problem seeing what is to come. But you fucked up. And they're fucking up when it comes to the DCEU over and over again. Now... Let's add in the fact that the merger is happening with Discovery and Ant Sarnoff. And there's one more that got fired. Um, Oh, Jason Kalar. But Toby Emmerich is keeping his job. Like, they're, they're getting rid of people. They already have people that they want there. This is the time to get rid of the Flash. I... Hope I'm not the only one that sees it this way. But Grant Gustin, a better Flash than we could have asked for than this character. To me, he was never very Barry Allen-esque. He was always more like Wally. And that comedic relief was always Wally to me. Bring Wally in. Get rid of Ezra Miller. Give him his time to recover. Maybe have him make a cameo in 10 years or something. But right now... There is no need for somebody that is constantly causing chaos to your brand and damaging it by association. Anyways, of course, let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Like I said, we will talk more about this Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It should be lots of fun. We'll talk about that and Disney and some other stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. (laughs) 